Hi, my name is Max Coates, and I'm the manager of Half Gracie, the 1993 Brazilian Valley Tudo champion, also current extreme fighting lightweight champion. The series of videos will cover intensive fighting techniques, strategies, including counters to most commonly found holds, submission holds, chokes, with and without a gi. What we'd like to cover now are some clinching fundamentals. What to do when an aggressor is attacking you, that is, how to clinch without getting hit, and what to do after we've got the clinch. This first clinch here in Brazil we call the Baiana. Practical use of it. When I'm here arming up against my cousin, the opponent, I'm going to be throwing the left hand. If I throw the left hand, he's going to enter on this side of my body. He's not going to come in this way because it was my right fist is going to be here to meet him. So once I throw the left hand on his face, he's going to lower his level and he's going to come and deliver a blow with his shoulder. Ugh, right here on my, on my stomach that's going to make me bend down like this. Here he doesn't want to lift me up. I'm too heavy. Look, he's got his hips out here. I'm too heavy. He's going to drag that foot in a little bit, lower his level, and look how light I become now when he lifts up. No problem. At this point, Hauf is going to take my legs, bring them this way, his head pressure to the left. Very powerful throw here. Excellent. One more time. I'm here. I'm coming with the left hand. Hauf delivers the blow with the shoulder, puts his leg in, hips down. Beautiful throw. If, if I'm throwing the right hand, Hauf is no longer going to enter with his left leg like that. He's going to switch his base. Like that. One more time, please, Hauf. Let's change the inside. Is that see better? Right hand. He's still delivering the blow. Left up. Opposite side. It's imperative that once you have me up in the air like that, you use the head. As you bring the legs one way, the head goes the opposite way, every time. Can you show that please, Al? Sure. Here, like that. He's going to throw my legs that way, and look at his head. Just like that. Right hand. He's still delivering the blow. Lift up. Head. An easy drill, you can do this at your home with a friend or someone you're training with, is the following. How could you demonstrate this, sir? This important thing here, you hit his stomach, okay? When you, if you don't hit here, you don't hit, it's going to be heavy for you to put it up, okay? Here, if you want, you can give a tap in his punch if you have a glove or something like this. Tap, your face move like this, and coming inside. But see, when I hit him, his bend like, like this, bend, forward, boom, up. If I want to keep change, the guy never going only one hand, okay? This tap, the right leg, go in the middle. See, I don't have to walk in like this for grabbing him in the middle. Boom. The same thing here. See? Same thing. I'm going to change the side for the guy to see. Boom. Grab. Walk. 
Boom. I'm going to be more quick, okay? And the other thing, when you go inside, you have to know how to go back. That's important. Boom. Go back. Go back. Sometimes I sprawl and you're difficult to grab him and you go back, okay? This next clinch is a very simple one used in jiu-jitsu, but it's very effective. From this position here, my cousin's gonna do this simple technique. I'm gonna throw the right hand and he's gonna merely dodge a little bit and, and close the space. I throw the right hand, my punch misses because he changed where he was at simultaneously. At this point, He's grabbing my hips and bringing them in tight. There's no way I can resist this kind of pressure. Note, please, that the upper body is taking my upper body and it's bringing me down this way. At the same time, he's pulling in my hips. I can't resist and he keeps walking on top to achieve the mount position where he can finish it with a number of techniques. One more time, I'm here. I go for the punch, I miss. He keeps it nice and tight here, not to let me sprawl whatsoever and he starts going on top once again. Very powerful technique. Sometimes, despite how well you do this, you throw the punch like that, your opponent maybe got a little bit of a sprawl going like this. Notice how Halp's left leg is gonna hook around my leg and now I can't put my foot back as he's still putting pressure towards me. When I go to step back, it doesn't work. And he takes me down quite easily. One more time, please, Al. Like that. I sprawl a little bit. He hooks the leg. He keeps swung towards me, towards me, towards me. And we fall. This next technique is similar to the Bayana with one major difference. Now, instead of punching, your opponent is trying to kick you. In this position here is when he's going to kick me, okay? It's the Bayana is the same, but only thing is different. Jiu-Jitsu is important as one thing. If you change a little movement, everything change. You know what I mean? If you move one finger wrong, all the positions change, okay? When you're going to kick me, kick him slow, please. Okay, see that here? I'm going walk and grab his leg and here and here. It's the same thing, if I try to lift him here, impossible. Move my hips down, forward, and lift him. When I lift him here, maybe he's trying to hook me, hook my leg. This leg here, excuse me, this leg here going pass for help you. Let me show you, okay? Come, here. See, it's light for me. This, pass, throw him. When I throw him, put my knee in his stomach for hit him, if I want, or arm lock, okay? You have to be careful. Oh, kick me, please. My leg's not outside, okay? So you maybe you lose your balance. Inside, and lift him. When you lift him, the same thing.
Whenever there's a kick or a punch thrown at you, it's great to have a counter move to it. But the first thing we want to do is take care of what's coming at you. We have a saying in jujitsu. It's called survive first, then win. If whatever he's going to do to me doesn't work and my punch lands, it's going to be bad for him. So whether it be him ducking down and come under me or him blocking, it's very important to take care of that initial punch or kick. This movement here is simple, okay? When a guy going to hit you, you move your hand like this here, see? Your hand come like this. Turn. When you turn, your legs come like this and your hand hold. Hold his biceps and his shoulder here with his head. Move here, okay? This foot, see? Come. And this leg here, going to give it a little kick. Here. One more time. When a guy do this, one. Hold. Come. See, arms over him. Grab his shoulders. When he grab his shoulders, this, Move my hips. The point is level with the hips here. But it's difficult to throw him like, oh, okay, throw him like this. And you use your leg for help you. See that? It's easy to hit him. It's a matter what you're going to do, okay? What I'm going to do now is uh, what you're going to, how you're going to change the things. I can grab him and maybe he's sprawl, I can not throw him, nothing this. But I can do many things, okay? What I'm going to show you now is these things, okay? Look at this. When the guy grab me here, okay, this simple one here. Maybe the guy's put it back, I escape and hit him again and keep grabbing him. No, I have this control to go out and go in. That's a so important thing. It's easy to me when I grab him here, sorry, when I grab him here, skip, boom, and go back. Okay? This is not a karate, like a karate, boom, hit him, nothing this. Because when you grab, you should have a punch, big punch is an elbow, okay? Skip, boom, hit his face, and grab it again. When I hit him, he lose all his balance, and go easy to throw him.
And the other one in Bayana. The same thing, just like in front place. The same thing here. We can do okay, you guy so heavy. I can put this one here, throw it on his back. And throw him down. Once again, if I get here, boom. See, it is prop. My head has to go up, and this leg here. See his hand here, this hand, keep grabbing him. Throw him like this. And this leg here, keep, keep the back, please. Go on. His leg. When I kick his leg, throw his down, and keep on top of him. Okay, one more time, please. Like this. This position here, what I'm going to show right now, is against punches. He's going straight his arm in here. What I'm going to do is fall to one side, step from my left foot inside, grab. But at the same time I'm grabbing, I'm going to bring this here, okay? I'm going straight right here. I want you, it's very important my shoulder in here, hit him in the stomach, then he can his band. Normally when you do this, I come and hit him here, step, lift. When I lift him here, I'm going to grab this one here, my head's going to pull him that way. This position here, when a guy is going to give a hook on you, he's going to come slower now, around. What I'm going to do, can you stop for a second? What I'm going to do here, I'm going to bend to this side here, and going to make kind of circle. I make a circle here, I step, grab in here. One more time, please. Okay. I want you to go like this, you come with this in the front, it's very important my leg, step a little bit to the side, he's lagging here, okay, I'm going to come down, grab, left the same thing, the other one, throw him, put him down, okay, he's going to come slow right now, around, what I'm going to do, can you stop for a second, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bend to this side here, and going to make kind of circle, I make a circle in here, I step, grab in here. One more time, please. Okay. I want you to go like this and come with this in the front. It's very important my leg. Step a little bit to the side he's lagging here. Okay. And we come down, grab. Left the same thing, the other one. Throw him. A little faster now, please. It's very important in this position here, you know how to use a fit. Like, if you're going to come with this hand here, 
put my foot to go inside. I'm going to do this and step with my right leg. If you come to the other one, I don't want to change my base to come inside here, but I'm just going to short. Okay, can you step a little bit forward? No, right hand, please. The left one. Boom. Always, I want to keep my head move sideways. This, if it's a hook, I'm going around, okay? This punch in here. If you want to train, practice this, you tap, step, and pull the leg, okay? The speed you're going to do this, when you get to move, fast, please. Boom. Let's do this hand now. Inside, back. One more time. It's very important, the same way you go in, you go up. The left one. Boom. Always, I want to keep my head move sideways. This, if it's a hook, I'm going around. Okay? This punch in here. If you want to train, practice this. You tap, step, and pull the leg. Okay? The speed you're going to do this, when you get to move, fast please. Boom. Let's do this thing now. Inside and back. This position here is very common. Chris Paul in a fight, anybody can do it because when you don't know nothing, you're instinctive, you grab like this. Now you're just pulling him up. Okay. One more time. If the guy don't know how to count on this, you tap like that. Now he's grabbing like this here. If you don't do nothing, step with one hand, protect right here. The other hand here, come on top. Now, can you pull me? See, I keep lifting. But I keep supporting my weight here. It's kind of uncomfortable to me. What I'm going to do now, can you pull me again? Put myself up. I support with my knees, support me up. Now I'm going to drop it here. What I drop, I pull this here to me down. Take a look at turn a little bit. When I pull, I bend him down, and this time I have to reach under him. You get him here, one, Two, lift him up, like that. I bend it. See how he's bent? My arm's gonna come under. See my butt? I try to put it down, lift. Boom. Boom. One more time. You get him on this, right here, protect. The first thing you want is protect from the guillotine right here, for the squeeze your neck. Second this, and the third, this one here, when you really start to lift you. Now it's going to get tired, I press him down. Boom. On this position here, we just change a little bit here. He's getting the guillotine, I protect the same thing, these arm over. But now I wanna walk to this side here, put my leg between, between the outside his leg in here. And I'm gonna press my leg this way to bend him down. Press this. But now he still have a guillotine. These arm comes right there, 
pressing his face to this way here. One more time, and we press, hold it here, come on top. But now I'm go, I have to go to the other side here, like this way here. My knees come to this side in here. I bend him down and pre press my knee to his knees, to this way here. I press, fall down here, but he still have this here. I want to pass my arm over his head. Now I'm going to start to choke him here. I hold his shoulder and press my arm to his throat. Automatic is going to let you go.
Well, naturally, we have a Gracie to start off the program tonight. John, set us up with that. Health Gracie, one of the toughest little 159 pounders you'll ever see. He can punch, and he can grapple, and he can sit on you as long as he wants to. All right, now what do you think of some of the magical things he brings to this competition? His past. His past is that he is the grandson of the great Carl Carlos Gracie. And he just knows exactly what he has to do to keep that great chain of being ideology going. The Gracies, their own family, they've got their own style. They have been the kings of kickboxing. And there you see in their health, Gracie, getting ready for the final moments here, stretching. Nice 12 and 0 record there. He looks pretty relaxed there, John. Oh, he's so relaxed. He was in the, uh, the restaurant tonight just sitting there socializing. Well, we've seen many of these martial arts combatants as they have been relaxed on the planes, talking to their people, really not that affected as they get into themselves, more or less a one-on-one -on -one relationship with their mind here getting ready. Uh, they're totally involved with that kind of psychological preparation. All right, so there you get a good look at Gracie as he's in the locker room getting ready for this competition. Well, let's take a closer look at Gracie as we get ready for this event tonight. Okay, all the Gracies and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters want to prove more for the world. It's my martial arts is better than you are martial arts. That's why we're here, for just prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and the legendary Gracie family, health gracie coming in here and john definitely the look of a winner uh, you have no idea what you're going to see here this is the most dominating influence on 159 pounds you have ever witnessed this boy is a spectacle now he might look like not the not the most conditioned bodybuilder in the world but this is an aerobic machine this boy goes and goes and goes well sometimes bodybuilding may not be the answer anyway because it will affect your flexibility he looks like he's perfectly honed that way it's the most it's the most interesting fighter you're going to see in a long long time he upholds the heritage in a way that you wouldn't believe as you get a good look at him and his opponent tonight Mikado Moraoko comes in here knowing that he has to defeat a member of the legendary Gracie family. He's a kicking specialist, a totally different style. Let's take a look at him. This is uh, something nobody can do but us. Uh, we have a special technique, a skill. So this is, uh, so, some people say this is the uh, same as street fight, but I don't think so. This is a uh, total martial arts, you can say that. Everybody knows firsthand, having seen these fighters. 
Rangers that have made this match. Ralph Grayson, 12 and 0. Health going against Makoto Motooko, 8 and 0. One of the O's must go in this lightweight division, 159 and under. We're ready to go now. Under the watchful eye of Benny the Jet Rikides, with a record of 8-0, he is the grand champion of game shoot wrestling in Japan, with a black belt in Kirokai Shin Karate and Judo. He is 27 years old, standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in tonight at 159 pounds, Makota Marioko! Introducing your referee for this evening, ex-world champion in Russian Sambo and Judo, an undefeated five-time world bare-knuckled no-rules champion from Armenia, Gokar Chivichian. Well, the stage is set. We're ready to go here. John, now what does Borooko have to take away from Gracie here? Well, he's got to be more aggressive, and he's got to try to stop the onslaught. But when you see this whirlwind start, you know, just just be ready. Hold on to your seats, because this guy can rock. That's what I said. You really have to worry about the early going when you face him. Try to get out of the early stages. Here he comes. See the style difference right away. Heavy, heavy right front foot, heavy left front foot. And look, he punches. And Gracie just showing something here. Right to the head. You see the kicks attempted there by Muda Oka right in front of us here. Now he tries to spin. Right. See the space. Big right hand and the counter. And there's the beginning of the fight right there. That's the position he wants to be in. He's been there a million times. He turned his back. The worst thing he can do to a Gracie. He turned his back. Made it so easy. He's got his neck. This fight is over. Wow. Very fight is over. He'll oh, tap out. to the neck. Oh, no. Yeah. Submission is what you want. He tries to come back. He has no idea how to escape from this position. And that's out of the fight. John, very well described by you. He had no... He's unconscious. I he him right out. Not leave for a